this first this first email kind of connects to what we've been talking about. This email comes from Patrick. He says, why don't you see professional sprint training groups like Distance Athletes? Distance has Bowerman Track Club. New Balance has their core groups across the U.S., Brooks Beast, Reebok Boston Track Club, etc. Is sprinting more individualizing or is there an ego, you think? This is well, from Pat. Yeah. There, there are, of course, sprinting training groups. I mean, Dennis Mitchell controversially has his in Florida. Noah Lyles with, why can't I think of the Noah, what's the name of the Noah Lyles training group there in Florida? Uh, I mean, there's a bunch of people. Shawnee Miller Weibo is in that group. Um, many, many other names. So there are, there are those types of things. They don't wear the, the team kits. And I'm not sure why that is probably because there's different sponsors and, and whatnot. Um, I don't know why the brands haven't decided to brand them in the, in much the way the distance groups have, but there of course are training groups, uh, that, that are broken up across the country. There's, uh, you know, groups in California, Dali, Dalila Muhammad's group with Boogie Johnson. Uh, there's plenty of elite sprint and hurdle groups around the country and the world. It's just, they, for whatever reason, aren't branded the way say the Bowerman track club is. Yeah. I think the main thing, uh, is that the distance runners like lean hard into the team aspect by having the team name really pop, like, you know, having a team Twitter account, an Instagram account, having your team kit, you know, it's a, everything is kind of centered around like, this is my training group team. Um, even though it is individual, even on the distance side, they still, I run for, you don't say I run for Nike, you say I run for Bowerman, or you don't say I run for Brooks, you say I run for Brooks Beast, whereas the sprinters don't do that. I mean, mm -hmm. and you could argue that's because the sprinters, I mean, some of the sprinters it's because it's different um, training groups, but even the ones that don't really have, I mean, Lance Brahman's group is majorly Adidas. They could, I think it's yeah. maybe, I don't know, like who is the decide, who is it? Nike that wants Bowerman Track Club to exist, or is it Bowerman Track Club that wants to exist and then Nike sponsors it? You know what I mean? Oh, I assume like, Nike's is calling it calling the shots there. I but I could be I could be wrong. Another thing that I would imagine is, you know, the when you get as high profile as say Noah Lyles, they don't want anything in the way of standing in between people understanding that he is represented by Adidas. They don't want pure pure isn't it like pure something pure, pure athletics pure athletics is the name of his training group and he could wear a kit i guess with that emblazoned on the front but i don't think adidas knowing how high profile he is they don't want anyone to be confused about who his sponsor is when he's being getting all this notoriety i could be wrong but they know that you know regardless of what noah lyles does he's going to get more attention uh than evan jager just because of the, the 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 status of the hundred and the two hundred compared to the steeplechase, so I, I that would be my opinion. Is is Adidas just wants their name front and center with everything when it comes to Noah Lyles and other top sprinters, of course. And I think that's the same. And uh, and it could also just be as simple as you know, not everybody in a training group has the same sponsor. But that's a good question. I, I just imagine that it's deliberate on the part of the sponsorship to to just have a clear demarcation of what, you know, who is the sponsor of these really, really high profile Olympic medal winning athletes.